My name is Rico, the Dungeon Master for Season 3, The Restoration of the Twelve Olympians. This season, we'll find our heroes traveling back to the lands of Eris and Enyo with Inharmonia as they adventure through and see what they have accomplished and completed by restoring the three fabled relics, the Sickle of Kronos, the Golden Apple of Discord, and the Robe and Necklace of Harmonia. We'll start with Deborah. I am Deborah, and I am playing a human rogue named Neith. Her name is Neith. And I'm Matt, playing a dragonborn monk named Ari Futan. And I'm Daphne, and I play Gilsira Venfire, who is a halfling druid. I'm Jenna. I am a cleric elf, and my name is Lix Balzator. And my name is Rico. I am the Dungeon Master for Season 3 of the campaign. Do we get a Deborah's Diary? Or? She didn't take any I notes. Take any notes. <laughs> she didn't take any notes, but here were the highlights, because Rico remembers. You guys were in a pool of stars. Did you take notes for the previous episode, though, the, like when Jenna was here? Yeah. Because we never diaried that. It doesn't matter. No, it really doesn't matter. Nobody's matter. listening to the super cut. <laughs> So, it's been a lot all right, time highlight together. what happened. You guys were teleported into a pool of water that looked like you were surrounded by stars. Awesomely. We did it great. Yep. Found out that it was the cave that you and Pan had been in before. Nobody's been teleported better. Yep. The best. It was the absolute best teleportation. Everybody's, you guys climbed out of the water. You found Martel banging on a door. <sighs> you guys eventually made it through the door, killed a hallway of undead because you decided to fuck around with a um, hanging skeleton. I fucked around and they found out. Yep. <laughs> you learned that undead are weak against bashing damage, that piercing damage not so much. You found a baby bronze dragon rolling around in a torso, wriggling around like maggots. Martel gave you a wallet of holding to hold his little hoard. Oh, yeah. You found out that... There was Taiko the Warlock, and there was also Dragonborn Necromancer hanging out in Amorolonia. Whose the, name is Minnie. I don't I don't have his name yet. Like Minnie Mouse. Who's hanging out in Amorolonia, the capital of Enyo. What is Minnie short for? I have no idea. A minimum? Minerva. Oh, probably. That'd be my guess. I love how he just said that with just as much confidence. Oh, yeah, dude. If, you, if you're confident <laughs> enough in any lie, people will believe it. I made a whole dicks just the tip of the day about that my youtube channel and then you followed some blood trails you made it to a clearing where Taiko was divining in some intestines mm. and that clearing was a little altar that held like ten thousand souls you killed Taiko after he summoned a bunch of meteors down on you guys hades showed up to personally collect Taiko's soul mm. And I believe that's where we ended was the conversation with Hades and Martell. Cool. At least that's that's everything that I remember. Our note taker didn't take notes. Sounds uh, Not bad. sounds about right. My notes are real sporadic. Oh yeah, there was a meteor that sucked. I remember that <laughs> shit. Yeah, I, I I almost died, and then Martell, yeah, <laughs> Martell. <laughs> almost almost died yeah. for real, real. <laughs> then Martell Martell Mar saved your yeah. life because that's what paladins do. Oh, yeah. Martel had a really cool blazing aura behind his head. Oh, I remember yeah. that. That was a really cool flavor thing. I can't can't wait to draw him up and play him later as an NPC. Spoiler <laughs> alert. <laughs> you will see Martel again. See in 42 episodes. Yep. Yeah. When we're finally on the fifth challenge. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. So Hades walks over to... Taiko's lifeless body. Mm. Um, Hades picks Taiko up by his scrawny little Balls. dragonborn head and turns around with their back to you guys, does their little dismissive backhanded wave. <laughs> I wave back. Yep. And as Hades is walking away, 
they pass the crucifixes that had the bodies on it, and you actually see a nice representation of what their body would like look like, uh, but their souls um, just escape their body and let out a uh, shallow wail as the souls convalesce around Hades, and Hades disappears into the woods, deeper into the forest. Just hanging out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna go camping. Got some souls. Just hang out here in these woods. They're nice. And then Martel looks at you three, and he says, well done. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Good I, fucking job. Thanks for thanks for rescuing me, Martel. It's I thought I was a goner for sure. Oh, you probably would have been. Yeah, getting hit with a meteor hurts. Do you have, I can imagine. Do you have any idea what's going on here? Like how we came to be here? Because we, we were about to, we were doing some shit. Yeah, with uh, the money changer. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, you were there. I remember walking through the front door with Minerva, and then I had to swim up through that lake of stars. As I walked into the front door. Huh. I wonder what happened. Does, I, does your experience lead you to believe anything? Do you know, like... I believe Taiko and his buddy probably summoned us as sacrifices. Jesus Christ, these guys. As they are want to do. Um, me having personal experience with them, and I don't know why you three showed up. Yeah, yeah. They, they summoned the wrong people. Do you know how to unsummon? I imagine we just go back through the lake Ugh. go back in there yeah all right so martel is going to uh put a shield on his back and put his warhammer on his side and he's gonna make his way back to the cave little bronze dragon oh yeah little bronze dragon pup is still there um on your shoulder i say hey hey little little buddy do you have a name i do not would you like one i would love one i'm gonna call you karga that sounds like a dangerous, powerful name. It is. Kirk. I love it. Name of a dragon king. And then he circles around your neck, like his little claws dig into your scales, and he oh, just yeah. circles around your neck, and then perches on your shoulder, much like Cedric perches on Jelsiris' shoulder. Uh-huh. Uh, Karga's going to be probably sticking around for a while, since you're in possession of his horde. Nice. And he's going to go where his horde is. And I got Pan's beef jerky. Yeah. Or just jerky, I guess. I don't yeah, know what it's jerky. made of. Jerky's still good. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Jerky's it's jerky. still good. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I feel like it's the the half bag is a void. Um you made that jerky like <laughs> two game fades ago. Karga only talks in draconic. Okay. Will only ever talk in draconic. Being a dragon, being magical, he could probably talk in any language that he wanted, but strictly draconic. Cool. For now. Um, I go to hand I go to offer Cargus and Bakova. He spurts out a little bit of lightning at it and sticks his nose up at it. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, well, that's fine. I just go in and eat it. Maybe he was. He seems less interested in Baklava, mm. more interested in meat. Yeah, I reach in the bag and get him another piece of jerky. Oh, and he takes it with his little front claws and snatches it and puts it up to his mouth and nibbles on it like a squirrel would nibble on something or a, a chipmunk. And she's just happily resting on your shoulder. Excellent. So let's uh, let's go back into this cave and yeah, so hopefully get back before it's all over and Lux is as, dead. Yeah. As you guys are walking, Martel says, do you guys want to meet me in Amorolonia in the future? There is still a necromancer out and about. I personally would love to. Are you guys going to be in the tournament? Oh, yeah. Nice. It's our plan anyway. Nice. If we don't get murdered like, I don't know, 60 sometimes tonight. Well- Best of luck with that. I'm pretty <laughs> sure you won't. I'm pretty sure you won't. I drink some ambrosia right now. I need one of our fans. Yeah, me too. Go, go. Go, go. Uh, I need one of our fans to do the math and figure out how many deaths we actually have. Uh, your death count reset. Right. But like until we're dead, dead. Oh. Because we die once, we lose a door. We die twice, we lose two doors. We die three times, we lose three doors. And so it's kind of exponential. It is exponential, yeah. Factorial? No. Uh, so I, I want to know, how many deaths do we have? Because that math is too hard for me. I don't do that math. I, I stopped before calculus. Uh, they would need your guys' HP totals for that. Neath has 78 HP. Ari has 84 hit points. Yeah, baby. Josira has 80 hit points, and Lux has 83 hit points. I got kids coloring on my goddamn character sheet. Nice. So if somebody wants to do the math, please go right ahead. And uh, you guys get back to the cave. It's rather uneventful. 
all the undead that were in the cave are still dead. All the doors are still open. Everything is still unlocked. And Martel walks into the pool room and then dives in. As he dives in and starts diving deeper underwater, you see him like fade out and disappear. Not like it got too dark to see. Like it appears he teleported back out. Like you saw him and then he slowly faded out and just like blipped out. All right, guys, let's do, do this thing. I strike a pose like I'm praying, like meditating monkish style, you know, and then just sort of dive in. Like Rock a, on? Like a gangster. A little monk dive. Um, Neath walks up to like the edge of the water and just kind of stops there. <laughs> Push her in, Jelly. <laughs> um, you see Ari dive into the water, and he is sinking down towards the bottom, and then his body begins to slowly fade away like Thanos snapped and dusted him. I'm dead. <laughs> see you in Hades. Uh, in Hades. Here, I'll go I'll go first, Neith, okay? Okay. Neith is never coming back. Okay. Um, <laughs> Neith is stuck in this cave forever. Or do you want to go at the same time? Maybe if we go Ooh, hold hands. Time. Count of three. Friendship ring. <laughs> Ooh, cross pinkies. Um, Scissor. So ne- <laughs> I was going to say, I better do something because I'm going to keep coming up with stuff. <laughs> so Neith um, like, holds her nose and closes her eyes real tight and then just like, just starts running into the water. Nice. <laughs> just like panic. Balls of the wall. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> panic running into the water. Jelly's like, you want to go together? You're like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like. And I'm like, eh. um, as far as I can go. I'm like, eh, okay. I just kind of wander over to it and just just pop right in. Excellent. Much like Martel and Ari before you guys, your bodies begin to feel the pressure of the deep water and like the gravity you felt the first time, and the stars begin to shimmer and shake and fade out, and your bodies begin to disappear and fade. Um, like Thanos had snapped and dusted you guys, and all three of you simultaneously appear back in the holding cell in the money changers with a little girl hanging on Neath and a mother hanging on Lux. Oh, hey, Lux. Hey, guys. So we were we were just about to do the thing. I thought we told those two to run off. Nope. You didn't get a chance to tell them to do anything because somebody decided not to come to the game, so we had to make up a side story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you, Ari, know that you are still in your, what's that called when you cloak everybody? Pass without trace. Pass without trace. Like the the mother's cries are muffled and the daughter's sniffles are muffled. There are telltale signs that there are no sounds getting out of your cloud of pass without trace. Okay. So. Um, you know for 100% certain you guys are still pass without trace, so you can converse and talk all you want. Okay, guys, that's, I look, as Bianca, she's got, this, she's got the vault open. Uh, you heard two clicks of the vault open. The doors are not open yet. Okay. So the Bianca appears to still be in slow-mo about what it was like when you guys were teleported away. It appears to still be in a transition um, of you guys coming back. Bianca is still... Does she have more locks to click? No. She's about to open the door. She's she's reaching to open the doors, just very slowly. She's reaching to open the doors. Okay, I look at the um, the little girl and the mother, and I tell them, we've, we've still got work to do here, so we need you to stand back, stay safe. Um, the little girl is... Still holding on to the dagger and puts her both hands on it like she's ready to defend herself. Okay. And the mother um, goes behind her daughter. <laughs> um, I would too. That and like, um, she's kind of trying to hide behind the piked body. Okay. That's still standing up and uh, with his trichean tongue at the top of the spear. So she looks like she's trying to just hide herself. Um, I look at Electo and I ask, I say, Electo, can you stay here and guard these two while I'm going to teleport into the vault as soon as she opens it and I can see a space in there? I can get them out of here if you would like. Oh, yeah, that'd be good, too. That'd be super good. Yeah. That would- so Electo drops her fury form, obviously, because it's a little girl and a mom. 
Um, they're traumatized enough. We're about to lose Electo in this fight, but yes. Um, <laughs> um, and yeah, she... I'd like to hand um, uh, the mother one of my like rando knives I have on me. Rando knives. She doesn't take it. Okay. The little girl will hold out her hand and happily take a second knife. I will gladly give it to her. And she takes it and she puts them point side down and she's double fisting both knives. It looks like she is ready to slit some throats as a a young little assassin who isn't trained with the knife. <laughs> uh this is this is probably what uh, somebody learning to go to stab somebody would do with a knife <laughs> point down. Like to to stab, not to slice. I'll bet if we drag this fight out long enough, Martel might show up. And Minerva. Mm. And maybe Perry. We could get some other help. So it's maybe not so bad that we let Electo save these people. How far away do you think that they are? Where's she right going? Now? What's she what's she doing? Is she gonna warp? Well, I have like we can I can put some maybe stuff on them to like protect them for a little bit. Or can't you give them like Cuba force for a second? No. I think oh. I think they'll be okay with Electo. Yeah, I think they'll be okay. I think we just need to get them out so that they're not distracting us. Yeah, saving them is priority one, but also let's kill Bianca. So Electo is going to wrap her arm around the mother's waist, and then she's going to put her head on top of the little girl. Um, they, sorry, they both look up at her like, oh my gosh, please save us and get us out of this mess. And then Electo just walks out of the cage, like through your, your, Pass without trace, the bubble. Um, incredibly silent, very quiet, and she quickly hurries them back up the steps. You can see her go up the steps with the girl and the mother, and she's very likely going to take them to Eris's. Do we want to call Martel? On the telly? Yeah, yeah the you go right cell ahead. phone? I can. Do you have like, a beeper? <laughs> I can call, or I can send him a short message of to come. All right. Telepathically. Sure. Okay, I would like to uh, cast sending and send a short message to Martel. Meet us at the vault right now, bastard of Spatia, ready to slaughter. Okay, message sent. Okay, and um. Okay, where is Electo? I mean, not Electo. Where is Bianca with opening of those Ambrosia? Doors? Guys, when she. I said I, I already told everybody what I'm going to do when she yeah. opens that door. Okay, how far? Away? But I'm glad I'm getting behind feet? her, right, so that she can't get out of the front door, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. All right. I need to also cast something right before we do that because then her speed will be halved, just in case she does get away. Sure. You're going to cast a spell on her? Uh, not just like right before or right, probably right after Ari takes his turn. Well, you'll be an initiative at that point. Nishatar. Then I might not do this. I mean, yeah. you are welcome to no, cast don't a do spell it. on her. Sounds right like a bad now. idea. No, I don't want her to know. We could roll initiative and start combat right now. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. All right. The time displacement has ceased, and you hear metal and wood grinding on stone floor as you can see the vault doors are beginning to open. And like, where where are we in relation to her? Are we to the side of her, slightly back. Are we from still her? in the cell? You are here. Okay. She is here. Okay. So oh, I so we're like to the side. I could probably see into the vault when she opens the door. Yeah. Okay. And it's it's not very bright in this place. No, it's it's dark. And she's like, there's no torches feet away. or anything. Twenty feet. Twenty. That's it. She's twenty easier. feet away. Okay. So as soon as as soon as the door opens enough that I can see into the vault, you can easily see twenty feet away. You can see that there is, in fact, the door is open enough that you can see inside the vault. All right, I teleport into the shadow space. Step. Like, yeah, shadow step yes. into the vault and uh, immediately attack her. All right, I so have much, misty step right behind him. Much like Nightcrawler, you bamp through the shadows. The shadows seem to swirl and convalesce around you, up from your feet all the way up to your head. You guys see Ari dissolve into pitch darkness as the shadows appear to come alive and envelop his person, and then you no longer see Ari. Cool. And you, you pop out inside the vault, and you can see Bianca, who is still opening the doors. All right, I, I go to hit her, and if I hit, I'm going to do a stunning strike. Is it do you, is it a sneak thing? Are you sneaking or something? She has alert. Or she, al can't, she can't be snuck attack anyway. 
Yeah. I love snuck attack as a word. No. Words okay, together. so that is 25 to hit. She's going to use her defensive duelist reaction. You missed by one. Oof. <laughs> as you- What? Um, and I guess defensive duelist as a reaction, you can raise your AC know. when you're but wielding a still. finesse weapon. Come she on, is an 25. assassin rogue. I'd probably then do flurry of blows. Can she do that anytime? How many times can once, she do that? Once per round. Jesus Christ. Per round. <laughs> All right. Well, then yeah. flurry of blows. Because I have it too. Try to hit again. Yes, you do. It's awesome. It was given to you by your goddess. Uh, just to find out. Um, what I say. 17 to hit. Miss. Okay. And then the second hit. Uh, 19 to hit. Miss. Yeah, this is Oof. going great. Mm. Um. <laughs> Do you want, you did your Misty step too, right? Yes. So In I'm front or behind her? Not, I am behind her. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you Misty step as you two gonna see die tonight. <laughs> a large swirl and feel a cool breeze as droplets form out of the oxygen in the room and envelop her from top down. You see a watery representation of what would be Lux, and then it slowly falls to the ground, and Lux is not standing there. And in the op- the exact opposite, she forms much like uh, Poseidon did out of the pool nice. of water. Except it's her coming out of a... You see a, a, a watery representation of Lux. And then she's formed directly behind Bianca. That was cool. Yeah, Missy Step. Yeah. Uh, shit should have pretty cool flares to it like that. It makes it fun Huddle. for me. And do you want to get an attack in before we go into I initiative? I would love to. Um, I am going to uh, cast... Tap into the mic? That would... Well... Do something where That's you touch not... her and she dies. <laughs> I'm going to do flame strike. Ooh, do touch of death. And um, a creature takes 46 fire and 46, 46. radiant damage like on a failed save. 92. The save? the save is dex. 92 damage. A dex save? Yes. What's 11 plus 14? 25? I think she beats your magic save. So is it half damage? It's going to be half damage. Okay. So well, it's going to be still... it's still going to be your 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 save is not greater than 25. It's not. <laughs> I know that for a fact. So uh, she takes yeah, instead so, of 92 damage. So we'll just do half that. Uh so 2d6 and 2d6. Yeah. So just roll 4d6. 46. <laughs> like 40 46 damage, yeah. 4d6. <laughs> yeah, 46. That's what I said. Why are you rolling? It's just 46 damage. Uh, 15 for that and then you guys are playing the hard way <laughs> bonus action uh, spiritual weapon yes so you summon your spiritual weapon yes dope and it's um, you do not get a second bonus action you can't attack with it what's that I'm sorry what'd you say you do not get a second bonus action to attack with it because you used your bonus action to cast the spell Cause, cause gotcha basically to summon it but can't it got it gotcha yeah if she'd used her her turn to summon the spiritual weapon, the bonus action would have then been to swing with Ten, it. Two. I see. That's good to know. Thank you. But now you have it ready. Right. Yep. Ready to go. All right. Roll initiative, lads and ladies. I hate that she can't be snuck attack. Three. Three? Three. Like on the dice? Oh. No. Two, uh, it was four on the dice. I'm a negative one initiative. Oh, because you're plate mail? 15. 17. 19. 19, Ari? Lux had three. What'd you have, Neith? 17. Thank you. Jelly? 15. And then Bianca had, what's her initiative? One. <laughs> One. 25. We're going to die. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Let's fucking rock and roll. So, Bianca having 25. Oh, shit. I did. I've been doing initiative wrong. Why? Because apparently you're supposed to add your decks. Yes. Oh, hold and on. If, and if you have alert, it's an additional plus five. Oh, I hold on. <laughs> you don't have alert? Oh. Yeah, it's okay. a roll plus your dex modifier. 19, 19, 20, 21, 26. 23 then for me. Sorry, I'm dumb. That's my bad. I, I wasn't doing it right either, so I'm glad you looked that up. Y'all because playing like I was Lux just over adding here. my initiative. <laughs> I, there's was a it spot adding for my it up deck? here, so and I looked I up alert. initiative and bonus. Like, and... I got negative one. Neith, you go first. 
You betcha. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I can, <laughs> you betcha. I do. You betcha. Your ass, if I, I can't go sneak first. attack her, at least I can. Hmm. I don't know. Tack. Go first. Um. I mean, I don't. Someday I'll learn to play. I do better when I can just sneak up on people. We're all, just we're all learning. You're only twenty feet away. What's your move? Thirty feet. You're only twenty feet away. Don't you can you totally move fire? to get up there to hit her. She only moves it. Don't you got fire bombs you can toss? Well, no, that's you what, took that's... the fire bombs, dummy. And she's... she has fire arrows. Though. She's still resistant. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I haven't thrown the thing on her. So she's still resistant to fire. She's a tiefling. She's got fire resistance. Yes, she will take oh. half damage from What's fire. What's the thing you're throwing on her? The anti-resistance. Still, potion. that half damage, like you, that fuck, you did a lot of damage. I'm gonna, like throw it at her. It's not going to do anything. I'm like, goddamn alchemist, <laughs> son I of a bitch. I toss beneath my fire bombs. <laughs> It's not your turn. <laughs> I know. Okay. Burn that I want to move up so that I'm like next to her. So she's got Ari in front of her. She's got Lux behind her. And now I'm to her right. Okay. And what? You going to hold her hand? No. Play a little grab ass? <laughs> With Bianca, I would play grab ass. <laughs> grab more than that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Get her in the maid's uniform. Mm. Call her Nikki. <laughs> hey, Nikki. I just don't think anything I can do is going to hit. Well, this is not supposed to be an easy fight. No, we're is supposed she, to die. So, uh, is she inside the vault? Nope. She's just She's outside, outside mm -hmm. and Ari's on the in inside. She and how is, close is she, she from is, the vault? Or, she is you? out here. Ari is in here. He is just inside these doors. So, she is just uh, like five feet. Yeah, if she were to run into Ari and knock him backwards, she would be in the vault. Okay. Do you guys need the map so you can see location? Spoiler wise? alert. All right. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. As I'm moving, I am saying I am taking my daggers. Athena! <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I'm thinking here. And I'm, I'm, I'm like saying a little prayer of like, I am not normally a religious person. <laughs> we all know this. <laughs> but Athena, you have obviously have turned me in some way, I don't know, something like, please bless me while I make this strike. Make this make this drink? Strike. Oh. And then so I- So those of you that can see Neath, well, that's three of you, you see a shimmering golden ethereal breastplate appear over her chest. Oh. You see the same shimmering golden half helmet go over her head there is a slight golden glow you guys know that she has just prayed go ahead and you're going to do what i go to slash at her eyes i get tinkles all right roll to hit roll well she's double dagger death salute ac on it. of 30 yeah no i'm not gonna hit 27 <laughs> that's too high <laughs> i know like it's 21 normally, but with... But I have to... Oh, by the way, Martel can send me a message back if he wants to. I oh, guess. that would have been good to know. I just remembered that. Oh, Martel Sorry. is saying killing rogues with Minerva. Gotcha. Well, good. Good. Fuck those rogues. I mean, I rolled a 19. Plus dex? So it's only 23. Plus five from Athena's Blessing? Are you proficient in whatever you're using 28. to slice you at her fucking face? Yes. You hit... Yay! I hit. Fuck her eyes. I mean, again, my daggers don't do that much damage, but I'm just excited that I hit. Damage is damage. I don't roll well enough to hit me. Me neither. I always roll terribly. Maybe I should just heal this. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Nine damage? Nice. These are my daggers that have been blessed by people. and. All right, Bianca's bad. turn. Ah, crap. She is going to take a bonus action. I can't quickly drink something, can I? No. Damn. She's really going good. to take a bonus action. She's going to cast the tiefling spell to make it unnaturally dark. You guys with low light vision can no longer see Bianca. You especially cannot see Bianca, even with the potion of seeing. The darkness feels suffocating. There's no physical suffocation, but it just feels... Like these shadows are heavier than normal. And you guys around her in a 10 foot sphere are now blinded and have disadvantage to hit her. We couldn't hit her before. <laughs> How'd you get a goddess to be able to hit her? God damn. Okay, there's a difference between hard and impossible. 
Um, I'm going to, I guess, do nothing because it's still her turn. <laughs> Why? Oh, she I was gonna saying going to attack you. you. Oh. Yes, she is going to take both of her daggers and she is going to stab them both down at you because you were the present threat that she saw. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> and she's going to roll to hit. You have not had a turn this round yet, have you? She's going to roll to hit with assassin strike. Awesome. How nice. That sounds delicious. Sorry, death strike. My bad. Well, yeah, no, I'm dead. You won't be dead. Yeah, well. Yeah, I am no. a god. <laughs> What's your AC? Oh, I have your AC. Uh, it's here. 100? No, it's not. I have your AC. It's here on this chart. 50. Your AC is 18. Mm, eh, 28. No, it's it's 18. 14 plus dex is 19. Ooh, she hits on a 19. Hell yeah. That's a death strike, so I assume I got stabbed through the heart. I'm now dead. No, it's just it's just double damage. Good news. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to make a constitution save, please. You need to beat a 19. She can only do this once. 12. Plus your con save? Yeah. 12 total? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm the best. Okay, so both daggers plunge into your chest. Oh, yeah. You feel steel bite into your scales. Four, ten. It's only 10d6. Plus six plus four is 10. It's only 10d6 plus 20. <laughs> only. <laughs> one, 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 one. So that could be 80. 27, 29. 30, 31, 37. What's your max HP? A million. <laughs> 57 damage. Oof. And then she is going to take her extra attack just to pull the rake the daggers out of you. She's going to hit eight for 22 more. Cool. That's her turn. How much, how, how much, how many hit points do you have? Five. Yeah. <laughs> she can only do that once. Oh, once was Did more anybody than enough. Has anybody else lost any points, any hit points? I've got Ambrosia, and I think it's going to be yeah. my turn. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Okay, never mind. He's fine. And that doesn't count as an action if you... Well, Sorry, it, it is your turn. I drink some Ambrosia. It counts like as a move, move I thought. Yeah, it does cost your move action. You drink Ambrosia, you're back up to full health. It's fuck yeah. And you have all your key. And I can attack? And you can attack, yeah. It's your move action to drink the Ambrosia. To what? Are you, like, tracking how much Ambrosia you have? <laughs> I've got I, a water I skin literally, is like 1,400 sips. Yep, it's five gallon. I did the math. Yeah, she wow. did the math. I, I've got enough. I'd, I'd even, Just if saying. you're feeling bad, I'll guy. say I've taken 100 sips. We got an Ambrosia sips. guy. I know. <laughs> um, See, I made it easy. I just like filled a bunch of vials so I could just mark off my vials. I don't know. As futile as, futile as it may be, I guess I'm going to just keep trying to fight, baby. Don't forget your key before us. Yeah, but I mean, she's in here with me now, and it's dark, and I don't know where she is. I don't know where you guys are. I could pop her out, probably with the cube of force, but then, like, I'm not fighting. I'm just hiding. Like a like a weapon. Light's not going to help. Oh, because it's not. It's not. This is unnatural darkness. Yeah, so it's I like do have sucking light. It's I, not. Yeah, I do have a gem of brightness, but uh, you know, like I said, would light, not. It would not light up through the tiefling spell. That is pretty cool. All I right, do, baby. I have a spell called Sun White, but I don't have it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing at her. So I'm gonna swing at swing, swing to punchy punch. So our blindness is because of the darkness, and or that because she, she created. blinded she, yes. us. And I'm rolling. No, at dis- it's because of the darkness. Your disadvantage. Okay, so I don't know why I'm even trying, but you know that was 18, and that's even worse. So that's uh, 11. Yeah, don't you hit. Um. So, oh well, then uh, I take a. Uh, Extra attack, so I get another attack action. I'm going to mm-hmm. throw that anti-fire resistance potion at her. You're going to try to. Yeah, I am. I'm going to try to because, you know, I don't think this darkness is going to go away, so I'm going to roll to throw it at her. Why not? And you're at disadvantage. Hell yeah. Disadvantage my advantages. Yeah, like, I don't know, not enough to hit her. Like eight or so. You miss? Hell yeah. You hear the glass shatter? Fuck yeah, maybe she'll step in it. That's my turn. I mean, you know, what else am I going to do? Jill Sarah? I can't hit her. I'm just going to keep dying and drinking Ambrosia. If I drink some Ambrosia, could I prepare a different spell? Yes. Hmm. Okay. 
I'll keep that in mind. Okay. <laughs> um, I am going to cast Conjure Fae. I'm going to burn a level six spell slot. And I'm going to conjure a woolly mammoth to be 20 feet. Oh, sorry. Where the fuck is he going to go? The range of darkness is 60 feet. My apologies. Well, that changes everything. I, can't, I love well, because now range of answer. darkness. She can still she can still summon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I will. Ooh, it lasts for 10 minutes. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. That'll be all of combat. Jesus. Yeah. It's a hell of a. Do you get that at some point? No, it's a tiefling. Yeah. Oh. It's a tiefling spell. Oh, why would a rogue have that, idiot? Bianca's a rogue. But I know. She's a tiefling. It's it's a racial trait. I know. Trait. I know. Why would an assassin tiefling have the darkness spell? No. Why would Neath have it? Is oh, what she I couldn't. Was, she's not a tiefling. I was talking yeah. shit about myself there. I don't cast any spells. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. So I summon a woolly mammoth, twenty feet. Oh, I guess I can't see, so you I can't, can't see her. Yeah. I'm just going to say just right in front of me. All right. And as you summon a woolly mammoth, the ground begins to shake under you. The cages, some of the walls fall down, and the metal bars start crawling towards this mound that's coming up out of the stone floor. And then a woolly mammoth materializes up from the ground, made out of you know, stone floor, dirt, and it's got some of the metal bars for its tusk from the cages and it's big old trunk and it lets out a loud war cry. Nice. Okay. And as my move action, I'm going to... What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> so for my move action, I'm going to drink some ambrosia. Oh, uh, yeah. Drink nice. it. Nice. And then I'm going to prepare um, Sunbeam as a spell. All right. So that means I need to give up a spell, which is fine. I don't need scrying, so. No, you really <laughs> don't. You know where Bianca is. You just found her. You just love it so much. Yep. That's what I needed the magnifying glass for. Sunbeam? Mm-hmm. Nice. Do you have to see sun to do it? Okay, that's, yeah, that's what I'm doing for now. Oh, no, just... Okay, what's Sunbeam do? Uh. A beam of brilliant light flashes out from your hand in a five-foot-wide, 60-foot-long line. Each creature in a line must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, a creature takes 68 radiant damage and is blinded until the next turn. On a successful save, it takes half as much damage and isn't blinded by the spell. So it's um, it's sunlight. It's literally sunlight. And how 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 large is the, the radius? It's 60-foot-long light, five-foot-wide. Five foot wide. Yeah. Neath and Lux and Why well, Ari... I'm not casting that. Oh, you're oh you I were just preparing. preparing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were casting. No. <laughs> Never mind. I've already I've already You guys made were my about action. to have to make con saves. <laughs> yell duck or anything or huh? Well it's oh it's not I've already made my action, so Lux is your turn. All right. I am going to uh, finish casting Spiritual Weapon. It's already cast. It's all, uh, it's all you, Lux. So now I... I think you can use your bonus action to hit with it. To have it attack. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so you have your attack action. action. Yep. yep. And then touch your... Touch of death. That one doesn't And then your much. bonus action. Um, Kills her. I am going to do... Matt, were you down here when I said this the spell last ten minutes? Yeah. Well, I heard you as I walked away. A destructive wave and I rolled perception. I rolled it means um on her and she has to make a con save and then take five D six thunder and five D six radiant. You're gonna have to see her to cast that at her. I have to see her to do that? Yeah. She can't just do it like in the direction where Bianca was, and yeah, the same. She, see if maybe she, she could hits. Certainly try. Ari was right in front of me. We and were Neith literally is to the right. We were literally. So 90 you have. Right. A, it would hit him if you have a. I mean, she moved. One, I mean, if she moved. moved. If you have she a moved. one in three shot to hit her. That's not bad odds. Yeah, you could hit me. That's okay. I just drink some ambrosia again after she gets done killing me. Well, Choose a number: one, two, or three. Two. Okay, go ahead and cast your spell. <laughs> nice. What? Go ahead and cast your spell. Cast your spell. Okay, I'm going to uh, cast Destructive Wave, and she needs to make a con save. Neith, you need to make a con save. Wow. 
I thought you meant like cast. No. Because... No. Why would you Your think spell that? misses her. Good. Good, good, good. Your spell misses Bianca, and you need to make oh, a Oh, no, save. good. Or I was, I thought you meant Mrs. Neath. I was like, good. No, good, it, good. it misses <laughs> Bianca. No. Nikki. I rolled the D4. You chose two. You needed a two on the D4 to hit her. It was a four. 18. What's your spell save? What's your? 15. Oh, you save. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so you um, take... Don't you have evasion? Can't I hold? Yeah, oh, I was going to no. ask you. The evasion you, is for a dex save. Can I hold yeah, on my damage that's for right now? No. Dodge area effects. Yeah, but it's a dex save, not a con save. Yeah. Right. That, so yeah. How, how much? What's the damage on that spell? 5d6. You're going to take 2d6 damage. 5d6 plus 5d6. You're going to take 4d6 damage. Go ahead and roll the damage. Ooh, there was a six in there and a five. That looks painful. 15. You're going to take 15 damage. One, 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 one. You got to have your bad dice. Mm. I've got some that I'm training to roll ones consistently. <laughs> Neath, your turn. For one uh, DM. Well, oh, sorry, you have your bonus action. I do. Yep, my bad. My sincerest apologies. Sincerest. Well, I don't want it to fucking hit anybody that isn't. <laughs> Go for it, man. Well, I mean, you've got a. She's just going to keep killing me. Thirty-three percent chance to hit them, uh, to hit her. I am so glad that I made her a tiefling way back in the day to give her fire resistance against the dragonborn and this cone of darkness. Okay, I'm going to do it, and then. So, do you want me to pick a number again, or? What are you casting a spell? I'm doing the spiritual. Yep, weapon. pick a number. Um. <laughs> Between what? What? Between one and three. Oh, one and three. There's no uh, save for this. Two again. It's a one. Uh, what's the what's the spell? Spiritual weapon. So there's no save. Oh, so you're having it attack? Yes. Oh, roll to hit Ari. Fuck yeah! Bring it on, bitch. Roll ones. One, one, one. Instead of one. But does she roll with disadvantage because of the darkness? So roll again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care who you're trying to hit. Yeah, roll again. That looked, yeah, I was about to say, that looked better than the first one. But it's disadvantage, so you have to take the lower of the two. Uh, I mean, downside. What was the first one? First one was 15, and that's not with all of the shit that, that I get with That it. doesn't include her spell I, I got modifier. pretty big things to add. All right, so what's the damage on a spiritual weapon? Too much. <laughs> what's the it's damage? too much. It's um, my honest answer, or? The, yeah, how much? Part. <sighs> um, you do. Let me. I'm gonna play dead after she hits me. <laughs> Force damage, uh, equal to one d eight plus my spell casting modifier. Yes, plus um. You said one d eight. One d eight. Uh, yeah, that's way plus too much. One d eight necrotic plus. Uh, oh, did you holy strike it with your cleric power? Divine. Divine strike. Shit. Why? She's trying to fuck up Bianca. You can't. And then also another five plus two times my level damage. I might have just killed you. Not even close. So you're looking at 4d8 plus... Five plus... 7. So 4d8... Four, yeah, 4d8 plus 27. <laughs> Roll low, Jenna. <laughs> hey! One, one, one. That was a seven. <laughs> Fifty. Fifty-one. Damage. That sucks. That hurts. It's not easy killing your friends. Do it's I know that easy. I'm hitting him? If he Even makes, if, if he makes him? any noise, ah! then, yes, God you know that you luck. just hit Ari. <laughs> Got some ambrosia. <laughs> I'm dying. Neath. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. Uh, I take Matt, a, will you also look up I'm potion of swigs. invulnerability for me? I looked it up last time for you. I forgot how long it lasts. It was not right. great. Wasn't it like a minute? She's only got 176 life left. Guys. One minute, and you have resistance to all damage. Nice. It looks like liquefied iron. We, why are you still looking it up? I just told you. I stopped looking it up. Why are you so mean to me? He's not. He's pissed because Jenna. Why are you mad at me? I'm keeps dying. Guessing wrong number. <laughs> really, really, really <laughs> killing my buddies. <laughs> We're all perpetually dying. Yeah, don't worry. I'll take guys. Life is terminal. Why are we not all pissed all the time? Get in my headspace. All right. I really don't know what to do. Um, I'm literally just, you know, I'm kind of surprised. I'm literally just gonna slash. Right in front of me again, sure. where roll I was hit. before. Yeah, roll the hit. Nope. 
You miss? It's a great big nope. But I then would like to take my bonus action and dash. Like, I know it's dark. I know I can't see. But I'm going to dash basically the back the way I came. You're going to disengage? So according to my cutting action, disengage is a separate thing. I can dash. So I'm just dashing that way. So you were, you were getting out of melee combat with the melee target. That's a disengage. That's a, that that is that 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 does provoke an attack of opportunity. It dis- no, I'm it trying disengage- not to provoke if, an attack. If you of do opportunity. disengage, I don't think I, you can actually do that. If I have cunning action, if you do disengage action, that doesn't provoke an attack of opportunity. Yeah, it I doesn't? looked at no, I looked oh, it up. Oh, that's right. You're disengage a BSD. Doesn't. <laughs> oh, am I? Because you did that to me, and that's how I died before. I tried disengaging. With an attack of opportunity. Yeah, I tried disengaging. Mm-hmm. I mean, because okay. like one move, opportunity knock. Like if you were to just dis- like like a move action, like moving away from them would provoke. Oh, would yep. Opportunity. You're right. The right. disengage action does not. Yep, you're right. So basically, yeah, I'm disengaging. So you're disengaging. Okay. okay. All right, rock on. You've successfully disengaged. Because I can't. What am I going to do? I don't have. I have nothing. <laughs> Ari, she's going to attack you since you're awesome. Right there. <laughs> she hits thirty-four. 34 damage. I'm dead, bitch. Are you are you knocked unconscious? I'm at negative 1 HP. So you're so you're going to be making death saves on your your turn? Okay. Sure, why not? I don't see how I survive this anyway. So let's go, champ. So is she done done or is she going to go for someone else? She's going to she's going to attack somebody else. Cool. Uh Lux. How do She's you? going to use her extra attack on you. Nice. How do death saves work? I'll roll and you tell me if I'm dead. That's how um, my I mind. think it's 10 or higher on a d20, you succeed in a death oh. save. With three successes, you stabilize. With three fails, you die. Awesome. But, I mean, by death, you'll just go to the underworld and come back. Hell yeah. Hades will be there waiting for you. Hey, if you don't mind letting me suck you up through my little thing, just... <clears throat> no, thanks. Just looks good for me. <laughs> I killed you, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking your fucking soul. You helped. Huh. 27 to hit. Nope. Not by much, though. By a lot. By four? six. It's four. You always think I have I need to learn life. something from this defeat. Like how to cancel out that darkness spell for one. I don't think it would be so bad if you hadn't like missed the very first attack. Were you trying to make AC. him feel better? No, if my plan had worked perfectly, we'd probably, she'd be dead. I but know. 34 damage. Because you're going to cast. She's some sort of super badass, and so uh, I'm dead. Them's the breaks. She is she's a level twenty assassin rogue. It's too much. I'm not I'm like just over halfway there. We couldn't fight we couldn't fight a dragon. I am one. <laughs> Where's Karga? Is he dead too? No. He's still there. He's like laying next to your head. <laughs> Fly to safety, buddy. <laughs> Save yourself, Karga. That was it for her turn. Yep, that was it. Can that I make was a her death attack save? and her extra attack? Yeah. I'm pretty sure death save is 10 or higher on a d20. 10, baby! I'll give it to you. So you've made one save. Make two more saves and you stabilize. <laughs> Jill Syra. <laughs> Neat! Throw Ari a rope! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, as my move action, I'd like to mount the woolly mammoth. Throw a, All right, throw a rope at me. You climb the woolly the mammoth's boil. leg. <laughs> you scamper up there pretty easily, yeah? <laughs> So, this might help. okay. I love that you use scam. <laughs> that is so cute. So, the Woolly Mammoth, it's, I mean, I, it doesn't say what they are in D&D, but they're nine feet tall to 11 feet tall. So, how tall do you want it to be? 11 feet tall. All right. Well, you, it's an 11 <laughs> foot mammoth. So, 30 feet tall. I'd like to cast Sunbeam in the direction of Bianca. However, I don't want to cast it dire- straight at her. I want to aim the magnifying glass. At like a ten degree angle, sure. Up and and I'm also twenty feet away, so I want it to go above her. And also, when I cast sunbeam, there's a duration of one minute where it's thirty foot radius of sunlight, of light, yeah, and th- another thirty foot radius of dim light. Okay. So I figure I don't know if this is gonna work, but I don't think we can beat her with his darkness. And I think if there's anything that could overcome it, it's sunlight. So, why so you're not? shooting laser beams. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Hoping, hope, hoping to counteract this stupid it. darkness. How long does the light last? One minute. Six hours. <coughs> so you guys will have one minute where... You three will have one <laughs> minute where you'll be able to see <laughs> How long's a round? 
10 seconds? Yeah, something like that. So if I make three death saves, I still have 30 seconds of light? Theoretically. And her darkness lasts for 10 minutes? Plus minus. Yeah. Fuck yeah. So that's It's all good news. You guys should kill her so while I'm dead. So you successfully cast. Nice. That'll teach me. You weren't aiming to hit her, right? You were right. aiming to illuminate the area. Right, exactly. All and right. I was aiming in her direction, but just like above her. So there is all of a sudden brilliant light ah! up <laughs> over your guys' heads. You can now see Bianca. You can see each other. You can see Ari dead. You can see Ari laying on the ground. X is where his eyes should be. And you can see Gelsira atop a woolly <laughs> map. <laughs> Oh, that was that noise. And don't forget, the, I have a woolly mammoth. Yeah, I was going to say, do you want your woolly mammoth to take its attack? Uh, whenever its turn is. Right now. Okay, yes. I'd like to charge right at <laughs> Bianca. Sure. <laughs> don't step on our- Giddy well, up. I mean, do whatever you want. Um. <laughs> Life is meaningless. Glad I got out of the way. <laughs> okay, so- That um, way you have room to charge without me being in the way. I have disengaged too. Everybody can disengage so the, in action. So the target- must succeed on a DC 18 strength saving throw or be knock prone. But whether or not you don't can you take have it to as a bonus hit? action is a different for story. Not for charge. Yeah, I have it as a bonus action. Oh, you don't have to roll to hit? Not on a not on a charge. I do wow. for, for an attack, but. You said 18? Mm-hmm. Strength. She fails? Yes, so she's knock prone. All righty. Yeah. And, and, then and then I have two actions, a gore and a stomp. So it's plus 10 to hit on the gore. And also, she's not prone. Mm -hmm. What does that mean if they're prone? Does that mean the disadvantage on, or I can't remember what that means. A prone creature's only movement action is to crawl unless it stands up and thereby ends the condition. The creature has disadvantage on attack rolls. An attack roll against the creature has advantage. Yep. Cool. I bet you didn't see that one coming, Bianca. <laughs> Nikki. <laughs> Don't take this. How about some gore? Uh, 16 to hit. So much better, you know that. Sixteen to hit, misses. Do you have advantage on prone? She does have advantage. Okay, so well, roll again. Uh, Twenty-four to hit. That hits. But she's maybe. But she's the prone. Don't don't question don't it. Don't question. Okay, keep okay, going. Okay, I hit. <laughs> what are you so, doing? You said twenty-four, right? Yeah. Twenty-four hits. Well, but first, wait. Did I say what did I say the first time? Six. It doesn't matter because I hit. Okay. 16. Yeah, you rolled a sixteen keep the going. first time, and it was actually twenty-six. You didn't add it, right? Oh. That was my. I was only going to okay. say something if. So four, nice. four, 48 plus seven <laughs> piercing damage. Nice. 48 so four, plus seven? That's just 55. 50, yeah. Why are you rolling? My <laughs> math. 10, 14, 16 plus seven, 23 piercing damage. Nice. And be like a formula to figure out how many deaths. And then I get a stomp. So. Just do it manually. This is also plus 10 to hit. Or you can Google a die at 82. 16 to hit. And I, this time I did roll a six, but I get advantage. 28. Hits. Okay, so this is go going to be 4d10 plus 7. 47? 40, 10. Mm-hmm. That's like a good number. 4,010? 4,017? Mm-hmm. I think Bianca's dead. Good job. Four. That's a tired joke. Eight. <laughs> 11, <clears throat> 20, plus 27 hit points. 20 plus 27? 27 uh, damage? Tw 27 all 27 total? Yep. Plus awesome. the first, good job, 20. Thanks. Lux? Um, mission, oh, right? sorry, I wasn't done. Oh. <laughs> and then as a bonus action, I want to fuck her. I'd like to wild shape into uh, an earth elemental. Was 27? On top of the mammoth. Well, was 27 the total for just that attack or the total overall? That was for just that just attack. Just that attack. Okay. Yeah, so you had gotten twenty something right before that, right? Right. You're on top of the mammoth. Well, still? well, I'm sorry. I'm going to dismount the mammoth with the rest of my move. That would have been fun to see. You used your move to climb up the mammoth. Oh, that's right. I'll be an earth elemental on top of the mammoth. Break the ceiling. Let's Fuck. just destroy this fucking <laughs> building. Let's bring it down on top. For literally, if we don't kill that idea, and you guys did not want. That's an I idea. I said let's set it on fire. No, we I... are. We are <laughs> fucked if we don't kill her and we kill this building. I have. Sh I could shoot one of my arrows right above her and explode part of the ceiling and maybe it'll come down on her. Um, that's clever. That's a thing you can do. That's a thing I could yes. do. It'd be better Dude. than me trying to shoot my arrow at her. We just revive if we die, so we could just blow this fucking building up and hopefully she dies and we die, but we come back. I didn't find any kerosene. Okay, never mind, I'm done. Explosion. I've got lantern oil. Lux, it is <laughs> right. your turn. And we got those fire bombs. 
Um, I kill Bianca. Uh, Use your turn to kill Bianca. I can see her, correct? Yep. Yes. All right. Do not help me. Let's uh, kill Bianca. Swig of Ambrosia. Firstly, need to, and then I want to cast. Uh, is it this one? Yes, it's the spell. I want to do Bianca. Spirit Guardians on her, which means any movement she does is halved. And then also, uh, well, hold on. I, that's too much for Jenna to read. On a, needs to make a wisdom saving throw, takes 3d8 radiant and 3d8, or 3d8 necrotic. Sorry, it'll be higher than that because I'm doing a bigger spell slot. She saves. Okay, so let's do. She's she is proficient take, on wisdom, so she's got 24 to save. Gotcha. Uh, so I'd want it to be 3d8 necrotic damage. So half of that plus, so 48, 5d8, 5d8, whatever, 68? Half. She saved. Yes, so whatever, what's that So half? just tell me what the total damage dice is. I'm and just having a lot of trouble reading that, if maybe you can help me. All right. You call four spirits to protect you. They flit around you to a distance of 15 feet for the duration. If you are good or neutral, or specter form appears angelic or fae. They're going to be like cute little demons. When you cast a spell, you can designate any number (laughs) of creatures you can see to be unaffected by it. An affected creature speed is halved in the area. And when the creature enters the area for the first turn or are on a turn where it starts its turn in there, it must make a wisdom saving throw. All right, so you don't do the damage yet. She will have to make that save on her turn. Lux is last. It's getting ready to be her turn. So she will have to make the wisdom saving throw on her turn. Or suffer 3d8 radiant damage. Three, it's just 3d8 but radiant you said you're using the It says or necrotic. Um, if you are evil. Right. You are not evil. My. Your alignment is not evil. But you're not evil. Um, I, well, I know it isn't. <laughs> I, um, but I, I'm just saying. Um, if, I, if it's necro, it would be. I get more if it's necro. I get more. But damage, you have to be so evil nice. for it to be necrotic damage. Yeah, but my, I think it's because of my domain. No, no. Y- y- your alignment needs to be evil for it to be necrotic. All right. Did you say you're using a high level spell what? slot though? Yeah. What what spell? What's what level spell slot? I want to go it all the way up to five. So that would be it five d eight. Yeah. So five d eight halved. So three d eight damage. <laughs> if she and, and if she succeeds her, her save turn, on right? her turn. Yep. Okay, um, and my shit does not stop you. Like when he's in death save mode, how can I heal him? How does that? I don't worry about me. Kill the totes heal him. Well, I have bonus actions that are healing. Yeah, you so. can totes heal him. Oh, all right, do a bonus action. Why not get a boner action in? Yeah, because I mean, if she can bring you back, bring me that's, back, bring me back to the. That's you could drink your ambrosia as your move action, and then and yeah, then I'll do a. I'll do a healing action uh, or a bonus action for into uh, the microphone. Sorry, dude. God, all the time. Um, I will fight you. You can gain one d four plus. Watch Bianca use her attack to attack me again. Back to death saves, baby. <laughs> depends. Depends if you get up or not. It depends. If present if you present as a threat. Yeah, then maybe adult diapers. I can't wait till I'm wearing Depends. Well, people can get away with anything. I can't wait to be old. <laughs> you just walk out of the store with whatever you want. Take a TV. They'll stop you and be stop like, you. "What do you? You can't take this is my TV." I, I came in with it back. Yeah, when I was your age, young whippers. Okay, Grandpa, just take the fucking TV. Thank you. I fought Nam for this TV. <laughs> I mean, by the time I'm old, what is it? You know. <laughs> Afghanistan, Iraq. I was in the Third World War making memes. I was in the Great Gundam Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve this TV. I saw the Josh fight. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Where the fuck is my spell casting modifier? On the second page, the spells page. Oh, I don't I can't read that one. So is it does it have a different name too? Well, it's, it's your it's wisdom, right? Because you're wisdom based, so yes. it should be your wisdom okay. modifier. All right. right. So uh five plus a one D four to get that. Do I roll it or you roll it? He rolls, right? You or roll. do I roll? You oh. roll. Yeah, it's I guess your you're spell. you're dead. So Dead man roll no roll. Seven on a D four? Eight plus by eight, my count, three plus five is an eight. Three plus oh then eight. 
Get eight. Yeah. Get eight health back. So you're oh, up to seven. Yeah. Congrats. All right. That's seven HP, my bitches. I think <laughs> it's Neath's turn. I think you just said Jenna was last. I just Jenna went. is last. Neath is at the top I'm of the list. Oh, that's order. right. Um. So I look. It'd be not mad I at you. See. <laughs> she backed up. Yeah, I backed. But up. yeah, you can totally see her. Yeah. Um. And I look at the ce- what what is the ceiling made of? What stone? does it look like? So stone is it like stone blocks? Yeah, bricks. Big, kinda? large, large bricks braced with steel and wood, wood beams and steel beams. Is there kind of like one like kind of above her? There are multiple bricks above her. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take one of my exploding arrows to shoot at like one of the joints between bricks because sure. that'll be the weakest point, right? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, and I'd see if I can spl- explode something. And don't forget she's prone. How far well, maybe away? Maybe I can keep her that way by <laughs> from, burying her in some... What? How far away is she from you and me? Because we're right next to each other, up. aren't we? Oh, I that's, backed I up. So you're yeah. right there and Ari's... But Ari is in the vault, so right. he wouldn't get... Right. I mean, maybe something might bounce potentially, but... I, how far away is, is Neath from me? I don't remember. damage. <laughs> Uh, however far Neith wanted to be away when she, I'm she, sorry, she I go meant, up to 30 feet. I meant um, uh, Nikki. She's within melee range of you. Within five feet. You guys are in adjacent squares. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to be doing stuff and, you know. It's no, made. I mean, yeah, for sure. This is for. I don't know. I that was that. For what do I brain. need to hit? Like, what do I need to. You don't have to roll to hit. Okay. You I was aim like, and hit the joint. All right. I aim and hit the joint. With one of your explosive arrows? Beep! All right, so shield up your explosive arrow over my head. <laughs> your explosive arrow sticks into the joint. There is a small <laughs> and then wood and metal shatter from the joint. Nice. Um, there's a little bit of dust that falls from the from the ceiling, um, but you completely obliterated that joint. But no stone falls. No stone falls. That was a good idea. That was a good idea. I probably have to do it again. It's probably it's just pretty solid floor. Yeah. yeah, it's like big. It's thick. Like you know, you had to come downstairs <laughs> twelve feet to get to the vault. So you know, there's it's probably you know a three or four foot thick stone. It would be incredibly heavy. Maybe you should throw a grenade at it. Bianca's turn. Yeah, she's probably gonna get up though. She's going to got the fire bombs. I can toss those to you. Use her move action to stand up. So she is no longer prone, and she is going to attack you. Who's she attacking? Me. Okay, that's why that. 24. Hits. 1, 6, 12, 13, 15, 21, 25, 29, 33 damage. What? 33. And then she will take her extra attack and attempt to hit you again. 18 plus... Five plus proficiency. Yeah, she's going to hit. I've got a hilariously bad idea. <laughs> Six, nine. I put a hole in the ceiling. Fifteen. <laughs> is Bianca going right now? Yeah. Sixteen. Lux is about to. Seventeen. Eighteen. <laughs> bad news bears. Nineteen. Oof. Twenty-three. Twenty-nine. And that's her turn. Are you still alive? Yeah, I'm good. Nice. Ari. Hold on a second. Okay. I know I can do a thing. I gotta remember where it's at, though. Is it? Oh, no, it's a theater. Getting really close there, Lux. I am going to, uh, I'm... I took a swig of ambrosia. Bianca just turn. went. I take one every turn. So I'm taking a swig of ambrosia. All right. Because I'm at seven HP, so now I'm... Boop, 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 back up to top, itty top, bitches. Um, Tip top. What is, what is she wearing? What is Bianca? Does she have... What is she wearing? Like, hmm. does she have... Chainmail. But it, does she have like, and a cloak, like a necklace or bandages around her arms and her legs? Okay, so I'm. There is a chain that clasp at the neck of the cloak that she wears, but she you can't see any jewelry on her. Okay, what spell? Sunlight six, and that lasts for one minute, mm-hmm. and then her darkness will take back over. Okay, I'm gonna cast darkness on her chainmail. So it's going to a 15-foot radius for my spell because I'm not a badass spellcaster. I just have this because of Way of Shadows. 
um, spend two key points to cast darkness on her chainmail. So a 15 foot radius of darkness casts around her. Uh, obviously, she's illuminated by the light for now, so I don't know if she'll notice that this is happening. But once it gets dark again, she'll be blind too. She has blind sense. I don't know what that means. She can see. In if she were to be blinded, she has low light vision. What does that mean? <laughs> does darkness blind you? She won't be able to see me. Probably. I don't know. Hmm. So we'll all still be blind, but she can see us still. Barely. What is the point of my life? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can I can always drink more ambrosian cast on Invisibility, yeah. darkness, and most kinds of concealment are irrelevant. What do you give her all these skills for? What's the deal? <laughs> She's a tiefling. Like and like God ish. All right. Well, I guess like I she I did that. It. I did that anyway. So whatever. I'm like, I can't take it back. No, I said I was going to do it. So I'm doing it. Um. She's only got 135 HP left. Jelly's oh, doing yeah, 40 only. or That's 50. Great. Come grab these. Uh, 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 yeah, I don't have these spells. So come what grab I do? these uh, fireballs for me. She's resistant. Oh, I fire. keep I forgetting that. Doing well, yeah, you be can toss damage. them at the ceiling. Where are you at in relation to? She is currently in melee combat with Bianca. Okay, so um, I guess I guess I'll. There is also a mammoth there <laughs> in melee combat with Bianca. Yeah, right. Well, that was my, my action. Mammoth. So, um, bonus. Action. I don't know if I get my bonus action if I didn't attack. Let me check real quick. I'm pretty sure you do. Hey, Ari, sorry that I... Uh... When you, when I use the attack <laughs> action, I can make an unarmed you. strike as a bonus action. Oh, okay. Uh, but what does my extra attack do? Do I have to do an attack to... Take an extra attack? No. You get an huh. extra attack action. Okay, yeah. so I'll go ahead and punchy punch. With your extra attack? Yeah. And that counts as an attack, then you would get your bonus attack action, wouldn't you? Yes. Okay. So, punch. We'll just say yes. <laughs> We'll say yes. We need all the damage we can get. Luck point. Didn't help. Uh, I miss. Uh, bonus unarmed strike. Luck point. <sighs> that was worse. I miss. Spam key luck. point for flurry of blows, baby. Her AC is only 21, yeah, with only. a possibility of being 27. <coughs> that one, I think, hits uh, 20, no, 26. That hits. Fuck yeah! yeah. She's going to save her defensive duelist for the mammoth. <laughs> yeah, she's going to need it. A lot of her moves are super similar to yours. Yeah. You know exactly that she is an assassin rogue. 10 damage. And quite a 10 damage? Nice. For that one. Well done. And then I missed on the second flurry. Oops. I suck at boxing. <laughs> Josira, your turn. Do you have any uh, connection with Electo? Can you see if she can come back? Not really. I don't <laughs> I know, have like, right? telepathy or anything like that with her. Maybe I'll send her. Okay, so I'm still mounted on the mammoth. You are. And I like mounted to, the from the mammoth, no. I'd like to cast right. Blight on her. Sure. Blight. So I'm, like just, it. So I'm standing on top of the ma mammoth. I get my hands ready. Probably get a pity fuck if we die. And <laughs> I just say, hey, Bianca, your flesh is going to rot. <laughs> I couldn't come up with anything better. What's the save? <laughs> Good. Um, actually, huh? uh, so, I'm sorry. This It's a constitution save, so she's going to have to uh, She's gonna have to beat a 15. Probably will. She does 19 on the dice. Okay, so 48 necrotic damage. And well, also, I don't say, I actually, if I can do my catchphrase again. Yeah. I say, insufficient funds, bitch. <laughs> 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 wow. Um, nice. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, 48, right? Yes, because she, she saved. Yes. Three, four. Sure would be nice if she could make some deck saves with her evasion. <laughs> Ten. All these con and wisdom saves. 17 damage. Oh, fucking killing me. Fuck yeah. 17 damage. She's dead as hell. She's down to 108. Okay, and then I would like to use my move action to unmount. Dismount. And then I'd like to use my bonus action to wild shape into an earth elemental. Sounds good. And don't forget my woolly mammoth. <laughs> your woolly mammoth can attack. You don't forget your woolly mammoth. You don't forget. <laughs> so, your woolly mammoth. It so, goes on your turn. Okay. So <laughs> so my woolly mammoth would like to do a gore sure. attack. An Al Gore? <laughs> an Al Gore. So going to talk about climate change <laughs> <laughs> and invent the internet. Um, so it's plus 10 to hit. 18. No, okay. That misses her base AC. She gets to save her defensive st or defensive duelist. And then I do get to stomp also. Yep. I'm going to use um, Bountiful, Bountiful Luck. luck. 
Roller Mammoth, go again. <laughs> I didn't have the passion. <laughs> yeah, I missed. Oh, well. That it's... is unfortunate. So she yeah. still has her defensive duelist. I just pictured Lux, it's your turn. Mammoth, like, kill her, Lux, getting kill a little her. bit of a grump stump. Do 108 damage. Okay, right I now. am um, <coughs> casting, or drinking a swig of Ambrosia, casting Destructive Wave. Nice. She has to make a con save, please. <laughs> She beats it on dice. Okay. 18. All right. So with the modifier. Uh she takes only five D six uh radiant damage then. Nice. Nice. How how wide is this wave? Uh twenty that was twenty seven damage. And the what the wave is a creature that I choose. Nice. Let me see that spell. And let's see here. Nice. Did she have- did she ever do her saving throw against Alexa's spiritual guardian spell on her turn? Oh, no, she didn't. Oh. Let me make my wisdom saving throw. Right. Nat 20 plus 10 is a 30. So roll 1d, what is it, 1d8? Uh, yeah. We said 5, 3d8. Yeah, but said. she passed, so. Well, it, it was 5d8 before. No, it's, oh, that's right, yeah. It's using yeah, so roll 2d8. Yeah, roll 2d8 more damage. There we go. Yep, 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 because you cast it at fifth level spell. Nice. 28. 11. Nice. nice. She's down to 70. You guys almost got it. Just chipping away. Ch- 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 um, Till she reaches hey. her second phase. I know, right? <laughs> she doesn't have a second. Second head grows out of her chest and her crotch. I, As a bonus action, I want to cast Shield of Faith on Ari. And he's that is got a, a bad idea. I think you should attack with your spirit weapon attack. with Divine Strike. Oh, I, I, shit. I'm, okay, I'm an idiot. Yeah. No, that's what I should do. Fuck Ari. She yeah, is I not drank too ambrosia. concerned with Ari. At yeah, the I'm gonna, it's... I'm gonna get that going. I'm fine. I drank ambrosia. I can't punch for shit. It's great. And so that means I'm getting it ready now, and then next time we can do it, right? Yeah, guys. Well, you no, need to... it's still summoned. You haven't unsummoned it. It's still around. Yeah, and Take also your bonus action to have it swing. Get her and down. Channel your divine strike and get her down to like one, so it. I can one punch man this shit. Okay, there was like two people. At, I was, that was very hard for me. Um, Just roll damage f- on. She's got to roll the hit first. Okay, roll the hit. Di- <laughs> <laughs> I am breaking. I did spiritual weapon, and so I need to roll to hit. Yes, right. as your bonus action, you can attack with your spiritual weapon. Do you have luck? No. <laughs> uh, can Gelsiro cast luck on you? I've already used I mine. Damn. Extra sh- 21. She will use her defensive devolus to deflect the attack. Your spiritual weapon goes to swing at her, and she puts her dagger up and deflects it. Tink. There's a small little force wave. Poof. Was it cute? No, it was badass looking. Mm. Like, your guys' hair like flows back and dust like little dust tornadoes kick up Aww. as the force wave comes out from her deflecting of the spear weapon. And that'll do us for this episode of Some Would Play. Ah! Listen next week as the party continues their epic Hack fight job. against Bianca, the bastard butcher of Aspasia. Thanks for listening, everybody. Bye. 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 Thank you for listening to Some Would Play, a production of the Outsanity Network. Join us again next week as the story continues. Find us online at www.somewouldplay.com and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Some Would Play. Deborah is at Sonia Taki. Rico is at R1C0. Jenna is at Jenna Toll. Daphne is at Dafterthought. And I am Psychedelic M. If you enjoy the show, please tell your friends and share it with others. And remember, in real life, you needn't roll for initiative, so just seize it.